G'day guys, M Tim Tam here. Today we're going to learn about the new um, Sun Sky that Octane recently implemented in their in their uh, new version of Octane, version 1.01. I have the 1.02, which is a little bug fix version. Um, but what is the new daylight system? Well, it's pretty simple. Um, there's no um, new um, new um, buttons or sliders. It's just a different look and feel of the new sun system and just to point out the differences of the uh, overall sun. So here is the old one. As you can see, there's a option here, an interlist, um, that says model. And there's the old zero and new one. So we're currently on the uh, old one at the moment. And this is how it looks like in direct lighting. And this is how it looks like in path tracing. It's very, um, it's one we've been familiar with. But um, what does a new one look like? Well, let's have a look. So as you can see, there's a new uh, gradient um, that's been um, added to the uh, to the um, background. As you can see, it's far more different than the other one. And uh, there's also redness that happens with the um, sunset, as you can see here and a actual sun this time which can be very fairly realistic as you can see the, the color gradient changes over time and uh, as it hits the horizon the sunset effect appears which appears far far more realistic And here it is overcast, so here let's take a little bit of a far, far more realistic. Um, now let's just have a good, uh, let's just set up a scene here. Uh, orthomatic. Um, just to really give the good effect going. Let's just set the scene up here. Uh, let's put the turbulence here, the power up, north set about here. And let's change the path tracing of PMC. So as you can see, far, far more realistic. I'm um, just messing with some settings. So that's the new daylight system that um, Octane has recently implemented. Hopefully you can make some good renders for that and um, it will help you um, with your renders. Thanks for watching.